Yo, what's up everybody? We're over here at Super Smash Con 2022. We actually just made it into the venue and look at that. We got Papa John's as the sponsor of the event. I'm here with Sky J and Adrian who is <laughs> doing whatever he's doing. And Raven King, the GOAT, man. Are you ready for the tournament, Raven King? Always. Always? <laughs> yes, Ooh. there. That's the spirit right there, man. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and play doubles. We're gonna win doubles, right? We're gonna win doubles. Hell yeah. Um, you have to be me. Hopefully, uh, it's not happening. So, so we're winning doubles, okay. We're winning doubles. Uh, <laughs> we're still winning doubles. We'll see how it goes. I'll go ahead and show you guys the venue we're in edit just a this bit. With, with my, my victory over you. That's not gonna happen. All right, so this is the Bender area. This is uh, Controller Chaos. As you can see, they got some really nice um, designs over here. They got, uh, even for PS4, PS5, Xbox. So not just Nintendo, I mean, they got for Nintendo here too. They got, they got Docs as well. That's pretty, pretty sick. And I mean, you guys are interested in this. These are the GameCube controllers. They are really amazing. I actually have two of these controllers. Very, very good quality. I love them. And then we got this over here. I'm actually not sure what these are. Um, pretty sure it's maybe anime stuff. I, I'm sorry. I don't watch anime. <laughs> so I'm really lost whenever I see any of these stands. You know, here we got some Pokemon stuff. There's a lot of Pokemon stuff in SmashCon. Yeah, dude, like look at all this. We got keychains, we got figurines, we got even trading cards. Oh my god, some of those must be really expensive. <laughs> then over here we got some art as well. Really, really sick art. Some Funko Pops as well. Some hats. Ooh, that Kirby one though is calling. It's catching my eye, I'm not gonna lie. They got so much. I'm just a big fan of Kirby art, man. I swear to God. Like, that right there, that that one right there, and that one. Pretty good. All right, and now we're getting to my favorite stand of the event. I will tell you guys, this is pretty, pretty cool. Oh, actually, I think they're. <laughs> well, anyways, in the meantime, we got some more posters in here. We got some more art in there. Basically, this whole section is filled with a lot of like portable consoles. It has Nintendo DS's, Game Boy, Nintendo 3DS. What even is going on over there? Anyway, yeah, it, it has a lot of stuff, as you can see. They even have Mario plushies. They have Goomba, Builder Mario and Luigi. Lots of stuff, and as you can see over there, they have Xbox games. They have a lot, a lot of stuff, man. They even have Atari, I think. But, uh, Let's see if we can oh yeah look at that so they have the sega have lots of things in here as you can see these are all the games switch everything n64 cartridges they're all the portable consoles really cool i've always wanted to replace my nintendo 3ds because mine is doing pretty bad already <laughs> i still remember when i used to play 3ds or like nintendo ds they were a lot of really good games it was really good and you could also play game boy games in that one yeah it's I'm fun. Here. It was so much fun. I had that one. It was so much fun. I was yeah. probably missing. I never had these. Oh, that's no, never yeah, mind. Never had it. That's the one I had. My grandma gave it to me for Christmas. It was really cool. Two hundred is still so expensive. <laughs> it is kind of expensive. <laughs> you don't use it anymore, and still two hundred. Just lose. Not even an official <laughs> edition. What the fuck? <laughs> How much is the special edition? It's sixty nine. No, it's like that's the that's oh, but that's the DS. DI, DI. Yeah, yeah, DSI, something like that. Yeah, that one's 3DS, right? Yeah, 3DS XL. I would buy a PSP though. I mean, oh, PSP ooh, though, yeah. For how much? See, they got a lot of cool stuff here. Do, do they fly? <laughs> do they fly? <laughs> I think Zane might have just lost. I believe it. Or won. I don't know. Yo, Pikmin 2! This one's pretty. Oh, the purple one is sick. Uh, it is kind of expensive. It's kind of expensive. But I've seen it being more expensive in other places, so I guess it's not that bad. I don't know. Dude, it doesn't make sense because this thing is like really special and like really. I don't know, I like it. I like it more than that, and it's more expensive. That is true. <laughs> anyway, that is this stand. Ooh, N64 controllers. So 
So yeah, this one's my favorite. It's pretty cool. I want to say I love our community. I love Smash 64. It's the best game ever. Uh, shout out to my team, Crusaders. Shout out to the lab back at home in the Philly area. Shout out to Moose, the owner of the lab. Runs an amazing venue for us. Uh, I love SmashCon. Thank you. But if you guys thought we were done, we are not. There are a ton of vendors at SmashCon. Probably the tournament with the most amount of vendors. I'm always excited to come to this area because it's really, really stacked. <laughs> Look at that boom though, being like XD over there. <laughs> and then the one over there is like the tire of his life. Here we got some more shirts. Oh, I believe to me. Ooh, this is really insane. Yeah, dude. Amazing job. But like, uh, anyways. <laughs> so, got some really cool merch in there too. We got a couple more posters over here. Posters are. Really nice. I actually bought a couple there in my hotel room. So I will show you guys that whenever I get back. Ooh, so we got Sonic Club. Anyways, we're not looking at that. Um, screw Sonic. <laughs> but uh, all right. We got some mugs over here too. You can see they got uh, lots of uh, cool designs over here too. We got even Cures of War, man. That's pretty sick. Green Lantern. Everything that you see is all right. sandblasted in and dishwasher safe. If you have any questions or you're looking for anything specific, let me know and I'll be happy to assist. Sorry, hey, I don't thank mean you, man. to yell. Thank you. I appreciate it. No, it's pretty loud in here, you know? Yeah, yeah. These crowds are getting nuts. Yeah. Oh, it'll be crazier in just a sec. Well, this guy seems like he's enjoying the event. Yeah, these crowds are insane. What? Are you going to get your Thor pin? <laughs> the close-up is so funny. Uh, yes. Actually, why don't you show them, Adrian, where it's at? Because it's actually really cool. If you guys thought we were done with this, we're still not done. There's so many vendors over here. First of all, we got some retros over here. Really cool. What did you buy, Leo? What did I buy? Yeah. Some pins. Anime pins. I don't watch anime, but I bought it for someone. Oh, uh, so very good. Very good. Uh -huh. And, uh, well, we got the Pokemon Stadium. Yo, that game was great, dude. They got a lot of games. They got a lot of retro games. Really, really cool. They even got Modern Warfare, so like Wii U, PS4. Uh, even discs over here. I believe this is Wii? Yeah, this is this. Wii. It's High School Musical. Oh my god, my favorite one! But, uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they got a lot, a lot of things. They even have a PlayStation 2. Like, I believe they have a... Uh, with the Switch. I mean, they obviously sell Switches. Uh, here we are. They got some gaming controllers. They got an SNES, an N64, a GameCube, an NES. Got everything, man. They even have, I believe that's the Wii Mini. Dude, I forgot about that. But anyways, they got a lot of stuff. More fun goes over here. God, I actually don't know what that is, but it looks pretty, pretty amazing. I gotta tell you that. And this is the poster place where Adrian made me spend a lot of my tournament winnings because you guys know I'm not getting more than sixty dollars for this tournament. But yeah, this is what we came for. Angelic music plays in the background. <laughs> uh, it's pretty cute. So I'll buy one of those. I actually got a couple posters from here. I'm not going to spoil it yet. I'll show you guys when I get to my hotel room. Um, and yeah, let's go buy it. I'm a celebrant, I'm a member. Black Twins. Black Twins. This is for Halea. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello.
I do. A Benful bonus. Is it gonna be you, Black Twins? Oh my god, it wasn't That's you. I, I didn't have bonus? <laughs> no, I had more bonus. Nope. That's wild. I thought I was in the back. I'm third. And it was $15 money match, right? It was 20 <laughs> Oh That's really? You already told me. Yo, wait. Fifty? It was fifty? I thought it was twenty. It was even one hundred. It was twenty. Damn boy. Look at that. What a way to end I this vlog. We gotta look at the stats here. Hey yo, what's up, guys? I am finally back over here in Mexico after Super Smash Con. Um, I actually arrived yesterday night. Um, it was a pretty long flight, especially because I got delayed. I believe an hour, so it was it was a long flight. It was like four hours. I mean, not as long as other flights I have taken, but the delay is kind of what made it really bad. But I'm here, and I actually forgot to record a section that I promised you guys, where I would show you what I bought from the vendors at SmashCon, and I didn't do it. <laughs> so. Let's get right into it. First, I bought a couple of plushies. I'll go with the with the good stuff. <laughs> so if you guys take a look at over there, ignore the fact that my room is a mess because I literally just got yesterday. I have a lot of plushies. As you can see, I love plushies, Legos, all that good stuff, right? That's actually where I stream at. Um, my Legos and everything are above me. Um, but yeah, basically, I love them. And I bought a purple Pikmin. This is actually like one of the few pigments that I was missing to buy uh, from for my pigment collection. I couldn't find them and I found them on the internet, but they were like a hundred dollars for some reason. I guess they are pretty rare or something. I don't know. But hey, this was 20 bucks at SmashCon, so I was like, fuck it. <laughs> I don't see why not. And same with this one. I was actually missing the white and purple pigment. Um, they were the only two I was missing. I actually have the rock pigment and the pink pigment. The blue Pikmin, the red Pikmin, and the yellow Pikmin. Now, these were the only two that I was missing. This one and uh, this one. This one's pretty cute. It's like really tiny, just like in the game. You know how, for those who don't play Pikmin, white Pikmin are basically the smallest Pikmin. They are the fastest because of that as well. They're pretty, pretty cute. But they're also poisonous, so yeah. <laughs> and I also found this one, which I didn't know there was a plushie for this one. Or I think I did and I just forgot. My man's Louie, man. <laughs> oh my god. It was actually so funny because... Um, see, I have my old... I don't know if you guys can see it. I, I suck at recording like this. Uh, but my only more plushie is right there. And so he's chilling. He's vibing. Um, and they were selling that one too. But... <laughs> when, I, when I saw this one, I was like, Oh, I'm missing Louie as well. So I'll get Louie, right? And I told the bender, like, hey, man, uh, can you give me the Louis plushie? And he was like, I'm sorry, I don't play Pikmin. Which one is that? And I'm like, uh, the blue guy, big nose, the yellow hair. He was like, oh, yeah, I'll get I'll get you that one. <laughs> and he brought the Olimar one, and he was like, yo, this is the one you wanted, right? I'm like, uh, no, it's the blue one. Right, I'm sorry. And then he, he, brought, he, he went to check if he still had it, and he was like, oh, here you go, man. And he did this on the table and it was the same all in our plush I was like it's not that one <laughs> it's like as if no one remembers who this guy is because my parents for example they used to play Pikmin with me so they know about the games and when I showed them this plushie they were like oh that's all in our right I'm like, <laughs> like and everyone at the convention when they saw me buying this they were like oh that's off right I'm like Y'all doing my man's Louis pretty dirty over here. But uh, yeah, those are the plushies I bought. Then after that, I also bought a couple posters. I bought this one from Aerith, Final Fantasy. Really cool. Like the, the posters were really freaking cool, man. But this one, the Joker poster as well. This one's pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. It looks really, really cool. The designs are just amazing, man. Bought a Tifa one as well. Pretty, pretty insane. Most of these are probably gonna be uh, for my girlfriend. She's actually the one who uh, collects posters. I don't actually collect them as much as her. But uh, yeah. <laughs> this one though is staying with me. This is Toph from Avatar. It is so dope. I am staying with this. I'm sorry, babe. 
<laughs> and then I have this one over here. No, this one's from, uh, it's Cloud. Oh my God. It's Cloud over here. This one's beautiful as well. It's pretty big. It's a pretty big poster too. Like, they were also pretty, pretty, at a pretty nice price. They were like 20, I believe. Dude, and it was like buy two, get one free. So I bought quite a couple. And lastly, ooh, this is probably my favorite. And my girlfriend's probably going to be staying with this one. I should have bought two of these because I kind of like it as well. This is a Kingdom Hearts poster over here, man. It's actually really, really dope, dude. I love it. <clears throat> As you can see, my voice is kind of messed up from all weekend. But yeah, it's the Kingdom Hearts uh, poster over here. It's really dope, man. I, I, it's probably my favorite. I really can't explain enough um, how much I really wish I had bought another one of those. Because that one, my girlfriend's probably going to stay with it, so... I'm screwed. <laughs> okay, and apparently, this is something I didn't buy at the convention, but it's something, it's a package that when I got home, it was here, and that I totally forgot that I ordered it. <laughs> but this, these are the Lord of the Rings um, books. These are not for me. These are for my girlfriend as well. Um, I, I've never watched any Lord of the Rings movies, and obviously, I haven't read any books from them either <laughs> but they're pretty cool man like honestly they seem really good i'm kind of interested in actually reading them uh and lastly i actually bought a and this one i completely forgot it arrived when i returned from smash con or it was supposed to arrive a day before i returned from smash con and it did but i forgot about it is this mahjong set man Dude, I just recently played How to Play Mahjong. I went to visit a friend of mine, shout out to Elisa, in Aguascalientes over here in Mexico. And it's a really fun game. I actually had bought one, tried reading the instructions, and I didn't understand how to play it. But turns out, the Mahjong I bought was actually a Japanese Mahjong, not a Chinese one. So, the way I learned how to play Mahjong at my friend's house, at Elisa's house, was the Chinese one, and I had the Japanese one, so when I got back home and tried to play with my girlfriend and his brother, and her brother, um, we couldn't actually play, because it actually changes quite a bit, so, <laughs> we had to buy another one, yay, and this time I made sure that it's the Chinese version of Mahjong, but, yeah, I'm actually really excited for it, I am, it's, I love the game, Mahjong is so fun. So, so much fun. So addictive as well. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, we're back home over here in Mexico City. Uh, my next tournament should be Rise and Grind. It is this weekend. It actually has a summit spot, but I'm going to be fully honest. I don't think I care too much about the summit spot. I just care about doing well. Like, if I get the summit spot, the summit spot, I mean, that's cool. But at the end of the day, I'm still campaigning as well. So I, I think about it in the way in which, like, even if I don't get in through Rise and Grind, I'm still gonna be trying my best to get in through campaigning. Obviously, if I can qualify at Rise and Grind, that'll be a lot easier, right? But uh, yeah, nah, dude, I'm definitely focusing on on the tournament itself, not necessarily the fact that it has the summit spot. Like, I wanna win Rise and Grind. I don't just wanna win the summit spot, I wanna win Rise and Grind. So, yeah, but um, anyways, that's gonna be it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you guys are uh, liking these kind of things, because if you do, I mean, I'll try to do more activities at tournaments. Like, maybe not blogging every time. Because I'm going to be fully honest, I like blogging. But I have a couple more ideas that I could do at uh, at majors. I'm not going to say them, obviously, because it would be a surprise. But I, I have a couple of ideas. So if you guys want me to, like, do this, like, just blog every tournament, I can do it as well if you guys want to. Or if you guys have any ideas of anything I could do at majors, just let me know down here in the comments. And please, do not forget to subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Take care, everyone, and bye-bye.